Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve another example for power screw. For a 3 4 inch 10 square thread screw clamp shown, a force is applied at the end of the handle uh, 3 and a half inch from the screw center line. The 3 8 inch diameter handle is made of cold drawn AISI 1006 steel. What screw torque will cause the handle to bend permanently? So a force is being applied here. So we're going to call this force P. That is going to cause a clamping force here. And this force is going to create a torque based on this distance. We want to know what is the maximum torque that we could apply before this bends. We are interested in finding the maximum load or the maximum torque because we know what would be our maximum clamping force. So the dimensions are given here. Remember, this is 3 fourths of an inch. And the handle is 3 eighths. So do not confuse uh, the two dimensions that is given. And the second part, what clamping force will such torque create if the collar friction is neglected? And if the thread friction is 0.15. So once we have the TR, the maximum TR we can have, then we can find the clamping force. But let's write our uh, known parameters. The diameter is again 0.75. That's the major diameter in screws whenever the diameter is given. That's the major diameter. The pitch, the problem is telling 10 threads per inch. So the pitch would be the reciprocal of that, 1 over 10. The lead is the same as pitch here. No mention of double start or triple start. Uh, the mean diameter is a square. So D minus half of pitch. Then the torque that it takes, that would be this P times L, which in this case, we don't have the magnitude of P that we can apply, but we know the distance to the center line. We need to find uh, the moment. The moment is a little bit different than the torque. So the moment is applying at this location. This is where the moment, the maximum moment happened, but the torque is in the center line. So the difference between the two are this guy. So half of the diameter of our screw. So you can see the, the moment here, L, half of the diameter. So half of 3 fourths would be 3 eighths. And when we plug in into the moment equation for normal stresses, MCI, we have the value of M here. We plug it in, see the radius, which radius? Radius of the handle, because we want to look at the failure of the handle. And then the I, of course. So we found the stress that would be caused by the force at the edge here. To find the maximum stress that we can have and then maximum force that we can apply, we need to look at the yield strength of our bar. The material property is given so we can look up the yield, which is 41 KSI. So setting that our stresses to the maximum possible stress which is the strength we can find a value of force so the maximum force that we could apply here would be i'm going to round it up to 68 we can apply 68 pounds before we have yield before we have plastic deformation so without any factor of safety that's the maximum load we could apply now we're going to see what would be the torque, the maximum torque. So we already know the equation multiplied by the moment arm, we have the maximum torque. And knowing the friction values for the collar and the threads, we can find the clamping force. Everything is known except the clamping force. So here we can find the clamping force that is acting here. And this is the maximum clamping force we have. If we want to create more clamping force out here, that means that we have to apply more force to the handle and then it would cause yielding of the, of the bar. So we found based on the current geometry, what would be the maximum clamping force we can have. If you want to have higher force, you really can't make the handle longer because then this is going to be yield. So, and you can't really have more load being applied. To it so your option is to making this finer the thread 
or if you want to make apply more load or make the handle longer you need to change the geometry of the the handle so in this problem that was a practical problem telling us how much load we can apply and how much clamping force we can get